I've been an examiner for the American Board of Facial Plastic Surgery for some years, in the last 25 years, and I've also been on the Credentials Committee for the American Board of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery for 17 years. We review the applications of people, surgeons from all over the world are applying to get certification from the American Board of Facial Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery because it's peer reviewed, it's a very prestigious organization and it proves to you and your peers that you've fulfilled all the obligations of the organization. When we review applications, we get applications from Europe, we get applications from Asia, all over North America. We can see what people are doing because they have to provide a list of the surgical procedures that they're performing. And in some circumstances, we'll ask to see before and afters so we can judge the quality of the procedures being performed. So I have a pretty good idea who's up to snuff and who is not. And it becomes very clear as people are coming in to try to fulfill the requirements of the American Board of Facial Plastic Surgery, who is and who is not qualified to achieve the certification. Prestigious organization, we want only the best in the group to fulfill the board requirements, and that's who we're accepting. And so it's important to know that as an examiner and as a credentials committee reviewer, that we know that these people are up to snuff, and we know they're, they're top-notch surgeons.